welcome to my October vlog in which I will take you guys with me to near Comic Con and Lightbox Expo and show you other things that I've been up to in October. This video is as always sponsored by Squarespace. Thank you so much Squarespace for continuing to support my art channel. In this vlog I will mostly use subtitles but now and again I will have some voiceover as well.
just quickly wanted to get in here with the voiceover and let you guys know just how much I enjoyed the conventions. It was so nice to meet people in person. I always forget how amazing it is to talk with people in person and especially at Lightbox Expo, it was just incredible, but New York Comic Con of course as well. And yeah, before I continue with the rest of this vlog, I just wanted to tell you again about today's sponsor, Squarespace. I use Squarespace as a main website that hosts my portfolio and links to all my other social media platforms, as well as my online shop. It's been such a pleasure to add to my website from time to time because it's so quick and painless. I like to change up my logo now and then, and my latest iteration in the scrapbook aesthetic looks amazing, I think, thanks to the Squarespace template that I've been using. Adding anything to my site's navigation system and portfolio is very simple. Each element can be clicked on in the website editor to bring up the corresponding settings that you can tweak, and the automatic image scaling makes uploading images a simple one-step process. If you want to start building your own portfolio or shop website, head over to squarespace.com and get started right away for free. You can see for yourself how easy it is to make an attractive website. Once you put it together and are ready to launch, you can head to squarespace.com slash cosmic spectrum art to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. And now back to the video.
check before I order but
nice job. I'm back with the voiceover. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage that I gathered. Honestly, looking back, I really wish that I took a little bit more footage. There were a lot of uh, things that happened that I am remembering now that I will inevitably forget in a short time that I wish that I had also recorded. But overall, I must say this has to be like one of the best vlogs that I have ever managed to cobble together. As you guys probably know, if you've watched my channel for any number of uh, months or I guess years at this point, I don't have a whole lot of vlogs. I've tried to do a couple in the past, but they were a little bit lackluster. So this time I honestly really tried to get as much footage uh, as I could and to edit it together like somewhat nicely. I know that I'm still super new at this, but I am really hoping that you guys enjoyed my little journey through October. It was such a busy month for me and honestly I gotta say that I am pretty happy with the amount of stuff that I was able to get done because there were so many things um, and especially with such a short amount of time that I had between the two huge conventions that were quite far for me to go to because as some of you know I'm from Canada so it was a different country that I had to go to the US um, for these cons which has like a whole lot of logistical issues that comes with that um, maybe at some point I'll talk about it specifically but yeah i wanted to let you guys know what happened after i came home i guess this will be november at this point uh but it actually was kind of crazy as soon as i got home i had this doctor's appointment that i had to go to early in the morning the next day the day after i arrived back home and i 
got so sick that day it was crazy i it's not like i caught like a cold or the flu or anything um basically i have deduced uh that due to the procedure that i had in the morning it was nothing crazy but i was recommended to take two advil before the appointment just in case and like a complete idiot i took it on an empty stomach because I don't know, I just, I guess I didn't realize. It was super early in the morning. I never eat in the morning and I was kind of in a hurry. So I just kind of took the Advil and I think it just destroyed, absolutely demolished my stomach. And I was in the worst space of pain I've ever been in my life for like the next two days. Um, honestly, I considered going to the emergency a couple of times, but because the, ma the pain was like slowly going down, I figured if I just wait it out, it'll probably be fine. But I was actually legitimately bedridden. I could barely move for the two days. And so I had to put off packing my orders, which made me so sad because like I really wanted to pack them before I left for LA. But unfortunately, I did not have enough time because of the crazy stressful situation um, that really threw a wrench into my plans with the person bailing on me last minute before I went to LA. I'm not going to get into that, but yeah thankfully after i recovered sufficiently with the horrible stomach sickness i was able to go and resume my order packing and i wanted to apologize to everyone about the wait for those orders like it really just ended up being much later than i hoped and the sickness kind of really threw my plans off track again but I guess these things happen sometimes and I thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I'm super happy for my shop to finally be open again after all these months that I spent neglecting it. And I am really happy with the new merch that I have, the mini prints and my new sticker sheets. I actually have some more new stuff on the way. I'll tell you guys about it probably in the next video that I make. But I really want to know what you all think about this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure what it would be like to view it as somebody who isn't me, obviously. It is, in some ways, it's really fun for me to look back on it because now that it's been a couple of weeks since my trips, for me, it's a little bit of uh, like a diary situation, but I really want to know what you guys think. And if there's anything in particular through the cons or from the cons that you would like to see more of, because I was a little bit haphazard about taking the footage. I know that I could have taken a lot more than I did, um, but still I was able to cobble up together a relatively um, complete picture of what went on during the two conventions and I am happy to look back at it. I did have some issues here and there with my packages that I had to send to the hotels and the places ahead of time but it all ended up sorting itself out. And thankfully, overall, it was an absolutely fantastic experience for me. It's been a while since I did cons that are in the US and I just love meeting all of you guys in person. It's so incredible to talk to people and like I always just get so flustered, but also inspired and like motivated when I meet people who actually ask me about my comic project and how it's going and tell me that they're excited for it to start and yeah it was just so lovely to see everyone and talk to everyone in person i want to thank everybody who stopped by my table and bought something thankfully i was able to sell all my books at new york comic con and there's a lot of exciting things coming soon in november so i will see you guys in my next video and i want to thank you so much if you watch this video all the way to the end. Bye-bye.